Right, so in the previous tutorial, we have seen how to <coughs> construct these uh, mathematical expressions and quotes inside your LaTeX document. And uh, now let's see uh, how we can add uh, uh, quotes to your LaTeX file. So I will create a new chapter that says maybe code listings. And uh, I will use this uh, sample Python code to showcase about this uh, code listing related uh, features. So if you simply copy and paste this entire code and try to compile it, what will happen is that uh, it will invoke maybe some errors but uh, for now it has been compiled and uh, still uh, it doesn't uh, contain uh, some uh, code related Stylings, right? Uh, but uh, for example, let's say if your code contain uh, some commands like this, then if you try to compile it, then it will give some errors, right? Because in the code segments, there are some fragments that can't be compiled uh, by the uh, LaTeX, right? Because it is not according to the syntaxes of LaTeX. Uh, so in such cases we have to explicitly say uh, okay now we are going to insert some sort of code segment so don't compile it and uh, add uh, some sort of uh, default uh, textual format to that specific segment right so uh, in such cases we can use this uh, verbatim section and if you now include this stuff in this verbatims and let's make a section as well and if you now compile it uh, then that code segment will be look like uh, you know uh, some sort of a code right so what uh, LaTeX underline do is uh, it simply render the uh, entire textual context at as it is so even these space segments they are rendered as mentioned in this specific code module right so that is the first way we can uh, use this uh, coding uh, inside latex and uh, the next uh, thing we can do is we can use um, uh, third party package that called uh, LST listing right uh, so I will use another package uh, which is LST oh no actually it is uh, listing listings right so let's compile it so it will download the packages as well okay uh, now I think uh, we can use that uh, package so uh, simply let's uh, begin but with LST listing right so in the LST listing package you can specify the language that you are going to use in this code module as well so in my case the language is python so I will name it as like this and then segment should be also there it should be in deep and now let's copy and paste this same code content over here let's try to compile it yeah now you can see that uh, it has some sort of stylings as well right so this sum and print format so these are some sort of functions uh, it, they has assigned uh, some sort of you know bold text style right so it will be more convenient to use LST listing uh, to showcase these uh, coding segments so I will make a section as well by saying uh, use listing package for code listing 
package for code listing. Right. So now, uh, so this code segment is small, right? So since it is small, we can just directly add that code module to our uh, document. But in practical scenario, this code module can be very large and very long. So therefore, it's not quite good practice to uh, directly import this into our document, right? So instead of that, uh, what we can do is uh, we can simply import this stuff uh, from a external file. So if I go to my directory and I will make another folder called maybe codes, and I will simply uh, create a new uh, Python file called maybe edit and I will paste the content over there. Uh, yeah, so now we have our content and let's try to import that specific module uh, in our uh, latex file so i will make another section called uh, let's say import code from an external file and all you have to do is uh, uh, use the command uh, which is lst input listing right so you can use the language as python as before and then uh, you can specify the location that the code has been located right so it is in my case it is in the codes and added out py now i can simply compile it and that code will be now there right so now that code is taken from an external file right instead of just directly uh, copying it from the document Right, uh, so we can add uh, captions as well for these code uh, code modules. So let's say uh, I will add a caption uh, by saying uh, Python code for add two numbers or something like that. Let's try to compile it directly. Yeah, and now you can see that uh, we have this caption, right? Uh, in our code module uh, so uh, like in the table of figures and table of uh, a list of tables you can construct a list of listings as well uh, to showcase these sort of uh, figures called uh, listings so if I go to the underneath of this list of tables uh, maybe I can create a list of listings as well so uh, all you have to do is use this command which is lst list of listings so this is a list of code listings right and it's compiled it yeah now you can see that we have list of tables yeah, you have to compile it once and now we have list of tables and we have list of listings so here you can see that python code for add two numbers is also there because uh, we had add a caption by saying uh, python code for add two numbers for this specific code module yeah so that's how you can add the uh, code listings to your uh, latex document and uh, yeah so there are so many stylings that you can do uh, for example if you need uh, add, need to add some sort of custom styling for your code modules uh, maybe you know ch uh, change in the background or maybe numbering the lines or maybe uh, coloring the operators or functions or any other segments you can do those uh, custom stylings as well but uh, for now, I think as an introduction, this stuff will be enough. And uh, yeah, we'll see you in the next video.
Thank you.